Welcome. We have another wonderful 20 minute shoulder, neck, and chest opening and releasing flow. We'll be starting standing and then taking it down to the mat. So have your mat, a nice clear space. Also, if you have any object that's heavy, so I have a dumbbell. It could also be a jug of water, just anything that will give you a little bit of weight. We'll be using that for one of the neck opening exercises. And make sure that you have a wall nearby where you can utilize the corner of the wall. So we'll start standing in mountain pose. You can shut your eyes or gaze down softly. Just taking a moment to come in. Take notice. Each day brings new events. Good, bad, and different. They definitely tend to manifest in our bodies. So please honor where you're at. Pick what's right for you. Open your eyes. Take your hands to heart center. A slight push, noticing how that activates your abdominals. And then right here, just open, take a big breath in, reach the fingers down and back. And exhale. Hands to heart center. Inhale, opening your heart center. And exhale. Palms come together. Moving at your perfect pace through your perfect range of motion. As you're opening, notice how your shoulder blades slide to your spine and then down to your bottom. As your palms together, how you stand tall. Starting to feel a little bit of flow, moving with our breath. One more. And then come in. Hands right by your sides. Take a big breath in. Exhale, soften your knees. Fold forward. Let everything release. Head hangs. Take a few breaths. Keep a nice deep bend in your knees. And then inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Deep bend in your knees. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, hands at heart center. And then by your thighs, thumbs are forward. Standing tall, give yourself a shake, notice the heaviness. Let's start our front neck circles, ear to shoulder, chin to chest, and ear to shoulder. Just noticing where we might be holding a bit more. Maybe your eyes are shut, or you're just simply totally focused on yourself, your body sensations, breath, noticing the environment, but letting things just float on by. One more circle. Bring your head up center. Now we're gonna start with rolling one shoulder back. If it feels good, just starting to make some circles up and back. Elbow can stay bent. You can reach and lengthen. Get 
getting that mobility through the shoulder joint, opening the chest, letting the arm get heavy at the bottom. We'll do two more on each side. And release. Shake everything out. This is where we'll find a corner spot. I'm going to come right here so you can see me. So my arm is at a right angle. My elbow is slightly lower than my shoulder joint. And then I come up against that edge and all we're going to do is just simply Open away until you feel that mild opening all through your shoulder and chest. The arm can relax to the side. It can even come behind your back. Tighten your belly. Now you can also take a look over your back shoulder and then just pause, hold right here. So this is our chest wall opener. Again, wonderful, wonderful for breaking up, prolonged sitting, helping to improve your posture as well as ease. And then go ahead and release. So now the other arm is going to come up and I have a different wall right here that I'm going to step into and we're just going to open away. Maybe looking over that back shoulder. Shoulders are soft, arms are soft, breath is fluid. shoulders back. Now let's grab that heavy object, place it in your right hand, thumbs are both forward, standing tall. Now take the opposite ear, let it drop down, hold your shoulder to your shoulder. Notice how that increases the opening on the side of your neck. I'm sorry, I need a drink. Keep holding that. Now right here, your ear is towards your shoulder. See if you can tuck your chin just a bit towards the armpit and notice a slightly different line of pull in your neck. And all the weight's doing is helping you to create more space between your shoulders and your ears. Now take your ear directly back to your shoulder, hold right there. So many times we hold tension in this area and it's so constant that we don't even realize it's there. We need to tension headaches and it's a lot of uncomfortableness. Now lift the head gently up and we'll switch sides. So placing the weight in the left hand, dropping your head away from the weight, directly towards the opposite shoulder, and just letting everything release. Even feel your feet grounding right now. And what's nice is when we release our physical bodies, Many times we release emotion too. 
So if you're ever in a yoga class and all of a sudden you just want to cry or you get angry, really normal response. And it's important that we're releasing those things versus holding on to them. And I mention that because our chest, our neck, and our shoulders are a common spot where we really grip and, and hold on to stressful events. Now, tuck your chin just a bit towards your armpit. Notice that different opening. And then taking the ear directly to the shoulder, holding. Slowly bringing your head up. Take the weight, put it out of your way. Maybe grab a drink like I did. <laughs> and we're gonna come down into tabletop. So again, if you'd like to pad your knees, a beach blanket works well. Or even doubling up your mat, taking the back of your mat and moving it forward. So spreading the fingers or fist for wrist. Now hold right here for a second, tuck your toes in in the back, drop your shoulders. Let's just do a few cat and cows. Inhaling, opening, and then exhaling, and rounding. Inhale, expand, exhale, come in. Moving at your perfect pace. You'll find some days it feels better just to move slower. Just enjoying every inch of this. So many of our lives are so fast. The slowdown is imperative for balance, for wellness. One more. And release. So we're gonna move into one called Thread the Needle. You are always welcome if you like the wall stretch better. Go do that one again, that's okay. So take the hand closest to me. Just open up. And then your hips are gonna sink back and you're just gonna thread the needle so the arm comes across your chest, palm is up. You're gonna shift forward again, open, maybe gaze up at your thumb, and then sink back, belly between your thighs. Now adding the breath, inhale, open, exhale, threading the needle. One more time. Inhale, open. And exhale, thread the needle. Now come up on to all fours. Let's do one more round of cat and cow, shaking out the shoulders. Inhaling, opening. Exhale, rounding. On the inhale, maybe dedicating it to opening your heart center. And release. I'm kind of moving between my toes down and toes tucked. They both have benefits, so feel free to play. So you're gonna be doing the arm away from me. I'll be turning away from you. You'll turn away from me. Open your chest. And then the hips sink back and we thread the needle. 
And you could even do this without sinking back, if that feels better. You could just reach. Try a few more your perfect pace. One more on the side. And then come back up onto all fours. We're just checking out our time here. I have a new Fitbit, so it's not it's not working as good as normal. Oh, the time went down. It went away, I don't know why. Well, I'm thinking we're pretty close to that 20 minute mark. I'll come up and check. But first, let me get you into a restorative child's pose. Now with your knees, if you have any pressure, roll a towel and put it right here between your calf and your thigh. If you have a bolster or block, just bring them down. And then your arms are, and shoulders are gonna completely relax here. So please use the props so that your whole upper body can get heavy. The middle of your brows can connect. And just hold right there in that restorative child's pose. Again, inhaling and exhaling. Bottom, just shifting back to where it's comfortable towards your heels. The big part of this restorative child's pose is again just allowing the arms and the shoulders and the chest just to release. Think sinking breath. Inhaling and exhaling. We'll spend about one more minute in here. So it'll be a nice, some say delicious time for release. Now take your time. Slowly. Putting one foot ahead. Coming all the way up. Giving your arms and legs a shake. Rolling the shoulders. One at a time. And maybe just a few more. Opening up and back. And then just stand forward. Standing tall, thumbs forward. Take a deep breath into your belly. Audible exhale, let your arms and shoulders get heavy. 
Again, inhale, get that length of the spine. On the exhale, arms get heavy one more time. And then we'll end hands at heart center with namaste, simply meeting the light in me, respect the light in you. Namaste. So again, I hope this area feels a lot better. And just think about that. When you're standing tall, inhaling, getting the length, yet releasing down. So opening the chest, releasing down. I'll see you again soon.